We're not there yet, but this no. is the question so many people are asking. How safe is my teen behind the wheel? I'm yes. not looking forward to those days. No, I'm... No. Okay. Can't even go there right it's, now. It's right now for so many families. So yeah. National Teen Driving Safety Week is important. It is held the third week in October, and it aims at highlighting the safest of road habits. Yeah, it's important considering traffic, traffic crashes are the leading cause of death for adolescents. Students at David Crockett High School got a first-hand look at dangers on the road. Casey Marler tells us how a driving simulator is what's working this week. In the safety of their own gymnasium, David Crockett High School students put their eyes on the road and their hands on the wheel to learn real life dangers of the road. Oh, it's very important. It's very important for people to see the things around them that actually can happen. Text messages, it's like a second you look down, you can get in a car accident. Senior Caitlin Runyon is one of dozens of Crockett students that took their turn at the AAA driving simulator. I mean, you know what teenagers are like, they're indestructible. It's not going to happen to me and a lot of us adults are like that too. Runyon and her classmates also used the seatbelt convincer. I mean, it's just kind of crazy to think that um, just at five miles per hour that it would affect you that badly. And so thinking like some people get in accidents going like 50 miles an hour. Quite honestly, it's very effective at convincing them that they need to wear their seatbelt. When I tell them it's, I mean, imagine this at 35 mile an hour when it jerks them that much at five to seven miles an hour. A message St. John and the rest of the teachers hope the students get before they hit the road. It's just very important to really solidify to them that, that you can't do this. It, it's dangerous. The simulator as well as the seatbelt convincer are free for the use at schools. For more information, you can log on to the Governor's Highway Safety Office at tntrafficsafety.org. Casey Marler, News Channel 11, in your corner. The National Highway Traffic Safety Association says parents should stick to the fives to drive rules for themselves and their teens. The rules, no cell phones for driving, no extra passengers in the car, absolutely no speeding, no drinking and driving, and no driving without a seatbelt. Five simple rules that apparently are incredibly important for families. Oh my goodness, yeah. yeah.